Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm carrying on with the bird illustrations that I mentioned in my zebra finch video. I said I was going to start a drawing and painting series of birds found in the British Isles. So the first one I'm painting today is the Eurasian jay, or the jay as we call it. Its Latin name is actually Garrulus glandarius. It's just hard to say. I, I don't know if I've pronounced that correctly. Garrulus means chattering or noisy, and glandarius means of acorns. I've never been lucky enough to see one of these birds whilst I've been out and about bird watching. I'd really love to see one though. They're one of the UK's most exotic looking birds with that electric blue patch on its wing. So this bird is from the crow family, or corvids. Corvids are really intelligent animals for their size and are amongst the most intelligent birds so far studied. The Eurasian jay is mostly pinkish brown, the underpart slightly paler. It has a black and white flecked crown, a black moustache, which is kind of at the side of its beak rather than going over the top of its beak and it also has a white throat. Its rump is black and white, it has a black tail and mostly black wings with white patches and which also contain that electric blue and banded pattern. They have a screeching screaming call but because they often mimic other birds' calls, it's hard to listen out for them. Jay's favourite food is the acorn. They have a large esophagus and can store up to nine acorns at a time. So you will find jays mainly in woodland areas where there's oak trees growing. With more and more woodlands being cut down, jays are starting to move to urban areas. As well as acorns, their diet includes seeds, nuts, beetles, and also chicks, eggs, and small mammals. One specific characteristic of the jay is the scatter hoarding and caching more than a thousand acorns each year for the upcoming winter period. They'll remember where every single acorn has been buried. Even if snow is laid during the winter, they still know where they've buried these acorns. They've been recorded carrying acorns as far as 20 kilometres. Usually it's about one kilometre or less. Because they carry the acorns these distances and because they cache them singly, they're credited with the rapid northward spread of oaks following the last ice age. That's because they don't need to use all the acorns they bury. When they scatter hard, they're burying individual acorns in different places rather than larder hoarding which is burying them all together in one place and it increases the jay's probability of recovering the cash because there is a lot of pinching going on when they're burying these acorns so it gives them more of a chance of recovering the cash and if they don't need those acorns they have a good rate of growing because scattering is more beneficial to the acorn success of growing into a tree so that's some information about jays for you. I love birds and I find them so interesting. I really like to go to our local RSPB reserve and walk around there looking at the birds that we have. It's not a woodland area. It attracts more coastal kinds of birds rather than woodland birds. Um, so the places that I go to look at birds, there isn't haven't seen any jays but we do get we do get things like birds of prey we get different types of owls um and uh those kind of birds i think we get kingfisher there as well but i've never ever seen a kingfisher i'd love to see a kingfisher and there's there's quite a few birds that i'd really love to see in real life so this bird that i did i chose it because it's one of the birds that I really would love to see in real life. I love the way they look with the blue patches on the wings. It's kind of like a blue and a blue and black stripe. So I decided to paint the jay and I like how it's turned out. I wasn't sure 
it was going to work when I, when I first started painting it. I, I think that I'm just a really unconfident person. When I always start off painting the subject, I never seem to have much confidence in how it's going to turn out. And then usually I'm pleased with how, how my paintings turn out when I've finished with them. So this one, it was just the same. It was I didn't feel very confident about it and I just didn't think it was going to turn out as good as the zebra finch that I did. But I think that it's it's kind of... it's I wanted to keep it in a similar style to the zebra finch that I did. So I started with watercolour and then when I got to a certain point with the watercolour, rather than putting too much detail in with the watercolour, I decided to move on to a coloured pencil and put a bit more of the detail in with the coloured pencils. And that's what I did with the zebra finch. So it's something that I'm going to keep doing throughout the bird series just to keep them all tied together with the style of them. And the background, I wasn't sure whether to do the background similar to the zebra finch background, but I think it works and I really like the colours. From the, the top of the bird in the background, it goes from like a bluey green to a green and then to a darker green. And I've I've tried to blend it down, like from, from blue to like a dark green at the bottom. I could have done a different colour. I could have chose a different colour to do for the background, but I think I like these colours for the background and I, I think I'm probably going to use those for most of the birds that I do, depending on what kind of background they need. I don't know. I'll just have to see. I think that I'll probably stick with this background for all of the birds throughout the series. I was worried that they're going to end up all looking too samey. I don't think they will. I just want to keep them all tied together with a similar look. I don't think I've got an idea of my next bird yet. I haven't thought of anything. But I'd, I've got an idea of a few different birds that I do want to paint, but I just don't know what the next one's going to be. But I'll be starting that in the next day or two. Because they're only on a small piece of paper, the paper's about six inches by six inch square. This is a good size for me to do a, a quick painting. It takes a few hours to do. So I'll be starting the next one in a couple of days time and then hopefully I'll have it on my channel by the either the end of the week or by the weekend at the latest. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and if you have then please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here then please feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.